Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for class 11 series. Starting with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums of class 11 Physics Maharashtra State Board which is having new syllabus from the year 2019. In this video, we will be covering textbook MCQs of chapter 1 units and measurement. Let's start with the first MCQ. L1 M1 T raised to minus 2 is the dimensional formula for velocity or acceleration or force or work done. Over here what we see is we got length component, we got mass component and time component as well. So let us see the units of velocity. Unit of velocity is meter per second. There is no mass component over here so we can avoid this option. Next acceleration is having unit meter per second square. Again, there is no mass component, so we will avoid this option also. Next, what we have is force. Now, force is also given in the form of mass into acceleration. Now, mass is given in kg and acceleration is given in meter per second square. So, over here, the dimensions will be, we got kg, that will give m raised to 1. We got meter over here, so we got l raised to 1. There is second ka square, the power is 2, but it is in denominator, so we will write it as minus 2. Okay, so we got the option as option C. Let us go ahead to the next sum. The error in the measurement of the sides of a rectangle is 1%. The error in the measurement of its area is 1, 1 by 2, 2 or none of this. And area of rectangle is calculated by the formula length into breadth. And they said that in the measurement of sides, there is this error of 1%. So there is 1% error for measurement in length as well as 1% in measurement of breadth. So to find error in area, the simple formula is just add up the error in length and the error in breadth. So we got 1% plus 1% which is equal to 2%. So the error in the measurement of its area is how much? 2%. Let us go ahead to the next MCQ. Light year is a unit of time, mass, distance, luminosity. So light year is basically used to measure distance. It is the distance traveled by a light in a year. So it is used for measuring distance. Let us go ahead to the next MCQ. Dimensions of kinetic energy are the same as that of force, acceleration, work or pressure. So always remember that kinetic energy or energy in, the, in simple words is always equal to work done. We can also verify this by using dimensional analysis. So over here we got kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is given by the formula half m v square. If we write the units over here for mass we got kg. For velocity we got meter per second. It is whole square. Right. So we got kg meter square per second square. What about work done? So work done will be equal to force into displacement. Now force can be written as mass into acceleration. So once again mass will be written in kg. Acceleration is meter per second square and distance is again measured in meter. So over here also we got kg meter square per second square. If you see over here both the units are same. If you go on to form the dimensions well, what you will get is you got one component of kg so m1 meter is to the power 2 so we will have l to the power 2 for length and time is to the power 2 but in denominator so we will have t raised to minus 2. So both of them have same dimensions. Let us go ahead with the next sum. Which of the following is not a fundamental unit? Centimeter, kg, centigrade or volt. So let me tell you fundamental units are units of fundamental quantities and there are seven fundamental quantities. First one is mass, then we have length, then we have time, then we have temperature, then we have current, then we have two more fundamental quantities. One is amount of substance and our last one is luminous intensity. Okay, So these are fundamental quantities and their units are called as fundamental units. So centimeter is unit of length. So it is a fundamental unit. Kg which is unit of mass. So it's a fundamental unit. Centigrade. It's unit of 
temperature so again it's a fundamental unit but out of all this voltage is not unit of any of this voltage is unit of potential difference so we got option d which is not a fundamental unit thank you for your time if you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share with your friends and classmates as you know based on your feedback and suggestions we will be covering key concepts under our 5 minutes lecture series of class 11th so please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover see you all in the next class this is professor sandeep from physics hq signing off